Guys, listen to how crazy this is. Heavy snow. Accumulations of three to six feet, locally up to eight feet tonight through Monday. It's such an unbelievable amount of snow to fall in just one night. I guess we'll see if it delivers, because that, that would be probably the biggest snowstorm I've ever camped through. <laughs> just a second ago, a cop came up to me to make sure I was okay, because who would be crazy enough to come up here during a snowstorm this size? I told him I was fine, I'm just camping, I do it all the time. He was like, sure, spun two donuts and took off down the mountain. I love winter in California. Ah. All right, let's get this powder. Literally all you can eat powder out here today. <laughs> this is fantastic. is already. Caltrans plow just went by to make it easier for tomorrow. Because hopefully I only have to go this far, but we'll see. It's going to snow a lot. It is very important that when you camp in places like this that are going to receive several feet of snow, that you know the plowing schedule and the plowing priorities. Because if you were to just go out into the forest and camp in a place like this, with the amount of snow that's going to fall tonight, you'd be stuck. You'd be there until June. So you, you need to make sure you know. And ideally, like I like to do, speak with the plows ahead of time. This is perfect snowball snow. The wet floor is kind of inevitable, but I can at least avoid the wet socks. All right. That was fun. That was very fun. When the snow's that deep, it's pretty excellent until it starts raining. These always get so wet, it's really nice to take them off. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of heat going here. Nothing beats the après ski experience of having a van. And even though um, it's not going to be quite as glamorous when I'm spending probably hours and hours and hours trying to get out of here tomorrow. This part is fantastic. And since I'm going to be making chicken tikka masala for dinner, I have a marinade to make. And I'm probably going to give that at least an hour. Um, it was probably the most requested food item for me to make when I asked uh, subscribers what I should make in that other van camping video. So I'll definitely need, for now, yogurt and the chicken, of course.
the space is back in. I'm just going to let that sit for an hour, hour and a half. I, I'm pretty, pretty hungry. The front of the van is essentially another fridge because this is very well insulated. So none of this heat really makes it up there. So when I want a bigger fridge space, I just use the front. All right, it's been probably a couple of hours. It's starting to get dark and really starting to come down again outside. So I can continue on with the tikka masala. Times. People ask about ventilation a lot. I just crack the door, crack the window, and that's plenty. Look at how snowy it is out there. Now that is sufficiently brown. Turn this door here for now. got a cutting board, but I still don't quite have a real knife, but this will work. I'm actually going to grab the little cup blending attachment to my little blender here. That is good enough for me. Yeah, that's going to taste really good. To me, it's much better when it's a little finer like that. A little bit of sugar, fresh bag. Perfect. Big meal. It's hot. That seasoning is good though. Mm. Mm. Try some of the sauce too. Ooh, hot. That is really good. Mm. I'm looking forward to this. I get to sit down, eat this, and watch the national championship. It really is uh, the pinnacle of uh, human survival huh? <laughs> here in these remote places that get nuked on with snow. I'm picking up the cell tower from the top of the ski resort. Well, I'll embrace how peaceful and nice it is and cozy in the van. 
before I've got to get down on my knees and shovel for hours and hours and hours tomorrow. So. Snowing, snowing, and snowing, and it has not let up whatsoever. Let's start burying the, the front of the van, the front of the van there. <laughs> I bet tomorrow that's all going to be filled in. That's going to take a crazy, crazy amount of digging. Just insane. I had a lot of people asking me in the comments on the one of my last few videos saying why do you walk to the bathroom why don't you just pee in a bottle like guys I live in a van all I do is pee in bottles the bottom of that is dragging me through the snow That'll be my last time leaving the van tonight, hopefully. That's gonna take a few tries. I highly doubt I'll be able to open that tomorrow morning. Get this set up into night mode. Probably my favorite part of the day. Let's see, can any of you name those mountain ranges I've got on either side? I cut those out with a CNC plasma cutter when I was putting the finishing touches on the van. My last look outside and it was snowing well, harder than it has over the last couple days. The weather forecast seems to say that at 5 and 6 a.m. they're both going to be 5 inch hours, which is just crazy. That amount of snow coming down is almost unthinkable. I mean, I've been in it many times, but just to think that, you know, two hours goes by and you have a foot of snow on the ground. It really is an incredibly powerful snowstorm. So I anticipate hours and hours and hours of digging to try to get out of here tomorrow. <laughs> but I can't help coming to these kinds of places. I just love it. I love the snow, I love the skiing, and I love everything about the mountains in the winter. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Nope. God dang it. That door is not gonna open. Alright. It's a bit of a mess up here. Let's see if I can get this door open. Oh. Holy crap, that is so much deeper than I thought. Oh my god. Guys, look at how high above the door on a pretty tall van. I think it's as much as I can get it open. I can even get out of here. My little shovel is in for a 
in for a tough time today. Okay. That much snow coming down in one night. That is just spectacular. It's still coming down, but the vast majority should already be out. And thank you so much to the Caltrans plowing crew because I heard them come by over and over and over again. It's still about a foot and a half since they last came. But that's something I can push through, at least with chains on, if that's the route I'm gonna have to take. This is just unreal. <laughs> Look, <laughs> that shovel and more, I bet it's about this much higher than the shovel on this side. It's absolutely incredible. swim through this. It's hard to know where to even start up here. It's almost hard to tell, but with my old car, this amount of snow, and you probably wouldn't really have seen it at all. It would have been totally, totally buried. I mean, it would have been a giant car-shaped bump. But the van being so tall makes it stand out. It's always good to dig these narrow channels on the side. The snow clings to the uh, clings to the side of the van. I like that fluffy top snow. Look at that. It's weightless. <laughs> Look at this. I was trying to hop across, but I guess maybe I can sit down on it for a second, compress it, <laughs> grab the mirror and pull myself over. Yeah, okay. All this snow pressing up against the van. I do have to dig these trenches out or else I'm not gonna move. I'm just blown away by how much came down. up in the front of the van. And that's how much it accumulated. This shovel's exactly 30 seconds in. So. Yeah, probably four and a half feet up here in the front. All right, I just have to dig a little farther here so the van can breathe. Then I can at least start it. All right, this whole side is dug out. I think I'll try to put those chains on and then get the van started. If I can just move out of this spot, then I can clear the rest off much more easily where this was plowed overnight. It's like 10 o'clock, I've been at this for 
for like three hours. I actually have a new set of chains because in accordance with the laws of Everest, nothing ever lasts more than six months with me. I have owned probably the fifth pair of chains because they just always break all the time. That's why I'm not keen on using them in actual traffic because when they inevitably do break, you're going to cause a lot more trouble than if you just lost traction. So <laughs> That's my two cents on tire chains. They're not the best constructed, but for getting out of places like this, they definitely do the trick. Yes, yes, this would have been smarter to do yesterday. What do you expect from me? If you're in a situation where you can't tighten them by moving back and forth, then use these and you're not going to have to worry about that. Get this van started. Right, let me try hopping in there and backing up, see if I can go in from this side. Car started though. Oh, too easy. Oh, I guess too easy when you dig for hours. All right, I pulled out a little so I can probably clear most of this off now. It's just such a good feeling when you finally get moving. But this road stays high altitude for a long ways. So I'm gonna be driving through snow because clearly the plow hasn't gone by and there's about a foot on the ground. So through that foot of snow for, you know, maybe 10, 15 miles, not ideal, but it's just going to keep getting worse. I'm giving the brush a shot. It might be too dense. only getting the top layer. But wet snow like this does not take kindly to a brush. Oh my gosh, look at this. There we go. Well, here's the space the van left behind. Pretty dang deep. What an awesome camping adventure. are making those noises that I hate, but at least they're working. Alright, I've got those chains taken off, finally. 
and I'm about a thousand feet lower than I was, so I can move smoothly and it's not snowing nearly as much down here. It's amazing how much altitude can affect it. But that was an awesome adventure. That I am down to come back here and do that again. There are so many more storms on the way. It's like, it's not even funny. This is the snowiest year at the moment on record so far in the Sierras. And the Sierras have some crazy, crazy snow seasons. So if you want to see more of these crazy snowstorms, please don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have so many more this season. And every time there's a big snowstorm, you know exactly where I'm headed. So please subscribe if you're into that kind of thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next week.